Oh yeah, and welcome to Redman TV. Liverpool, a sigh of relief, uh, have got past Burnley. That first half, it should have been 3 or 4 nil at half time, but we just could not take our chances. We were hitting the ball, we were hitting the goalkeeper, um, and honestly, at half time, I was fuming because we should have just been two or three goals off, but we just didn't have the clinical finish on us today in the first half. Um, but we played really well. We completely controlled the game from start to finish from that first half, not in the second half. It got a bit mild in the second. But in the first half, we had complete control, um, but we just couldn't finish off our chances. And the longer that happened, uh, the more, obviously, Burnley grew into the game. Uh, we did get a goal through Darwin Nunes in that first half. Lovely finish. I uh, think it's Cody Gakpo down the left-hand side. Cuts back inside. Passes on the edge of the box. When you hear the noise of the bell, shanky boots will be coming down. Yeah, Cody Gakpo cuts it back to Darwin Nunes, who uh, actually slots it bottom bins. It's like he cuts across it, brilliant finish. Um, and from there, you thought, yeah, we're going to absolutely you know, blow these away. And we should have, but we didn't. Like I mentioned, they started at the bar. We had a goal that was uh, disallowed for some foul. I've got no idea. Merry Christmas, Everton. Um, sorry, music kind of background here. Um, yeah, we had a goal in that first half as well. That was disallowed. No idea why. Uh, a foul, apparently. I've got no idea. It just looked like they couldn't clear their lines and were scrambling about. Either way, um, that was the first VAR that went against us today. Uh, it might have been a foul. I've got no idea on the other end of it. Um, but yeah, half time, one nil. You felt like we battered them, but we needed to be more critical. And you knew on the half turn when they were dragging the ball off the pitch, you were having a couple of chances, so we knew that they could come into it. Um, and the second half starts, Harvey Elliott gets a goal, and it, you know there was relief there. And VAR disallows it for I assume someone's offside and in the line of the goalkeeper. I don't know, uh, but either way, from that moment, the entire game changed. We couldn't get hold of the game anymore. We let them. We we let the game be theirs. Um, we played down to them. We were sloppy. Um, they were all over us, and it was a bit end to end. And they had chances, and they've missed massive, massive chances today. And Liverpool have slightly got away with it because we should have had four goals at least in this game. But they also in that second half from Paris down to Turkey. In that second half, they could have had a couple of goals as well. So it is very much relief that I'm feeling right now. Diogo Jota comes back and my word, have we missed him. He slots one because that's what he does and he kills the game. It took 90 minutes for us to kill this game. Um, but thank God we did. Three points for the Reds and that is all that matters. It was so important after the uh, dropping points in the last two Premier League games that we picked up the three points against the years. We have done um, and let's hopefully roll on to Newcastle. Uh, atmosphere hopefully will be boss and let's hope for three points there as well. Up the Reds.